It's September 1964 and a lot is happening. In football, Division 1 season is just underway and it's early doors. Liverpool have just won another glorious Division 1 title. The Beatles are doing a madness in the music industry after coming off the back of a crazy UK tour. And best of all, my three favourite human beings of all time are still alive. Muhammad Ali, Malcolm X and Martin Luther King. Also, a small newspaper named after this big glowy thing in space printed and published their first broadsheet little did we know it would turn into one of the biggest waste of paper since so some will question my hatred and will want me to back up my reasons as to why i feel no one should buy this paper and why every day i question how this newspaper is still selling copies first let's fast forward to 19th of april 1989 four days after the hillsborough disaster where 96 people died due to overcrowding this is what the sun decided to write just look at this paper look at this what person i just oh oh man sometimes i worry about the lack of moral compass some humans have. Like, instead of spreading awareness and asking police to take responsibility for what happened and for there to be stronger stadium security in future to prevent stadiums from being overcrowded or to spread awareness of those who passed, they printed false allegations to try and sell more copies and effectively use a disaster to reel in more money. Like, how shallow and disgusting can a company, let alone one person, the person that actually wrote this, looked at it and thought, do you know what? This is gonna be printed out. No problems. It's perfect. Like, what is wrong with wrong with people? Like, honestly. On November 17, 1989, the Sun decided to print out a lovely page two story. Straight sex cannot give you age. AIDS. AIDS. <laughs> Man said age. Uh, AIDS. You know, at first I looked at this and I was like, okay, maybe they weren't as educated back then, but like, this is such BS. Like, basic journalism, journalism would be to check your sources and use your common sense as to whether what you're actually printing off and sending out to millions of people is a truth be even close to truth C has actually some like common sense behind it and well <laughs> this headline and story pretty much lacks all three of these it's just pathetic <sighs> next article look at this so this guy decided to um write a lovely article on um ross barkley saying he's one of the dimmest footballers. And to be honest, you could have just said he's a bit clueless, but decided to make animalistic comparisons, not actually realizing that this guy he's comparing to is actually mixed race. So what you're saying could potentially be racist. I mean, this Mackenzie Boomer is actually a walking waste man. Like, how are you gonna write up about players that you don't even know about? You're 66 years old. It doesn't take a 21 year old with a journalism degree to know if you're going to write a story about someone. Do research. Like, oh, well, I don't really know about his heritage. Um, Mate, if you're gonna talk about a player being dim and talk about his lack of playing ability and then make comparisons like that, pretty sure you wouldn't, you'd want to make sure that there's no racist links to what you're saying. That way you don't get backlash like this. I mean, considering the history with the sun as it is back in 2014 and prior to that, surely you would want your the newspaper that you're writing for to avoid any more backlash from a already hostile community. But you know, I guess it seems that juicy stories, headlines that are catchy, seem to be making pee. So you know, as long as common, if common sense isn't involved, just doesn't seem to kind of apply to him here because you know anyone with common sense would make sure there's no racist connotations to what i'm writing here but obviously he doesn't have common sense and ended up having to apologize and he actually got fired next story 
Norway's 9-11, Al-Qaeda's massacre. You know, I, I mean, as far as story goes, yes, that's eye-catching, so it's going to get people's attention. But is there any truth to it whatsoever? Absolutely not. Again, this paper never fails to amaze me. For goodness sake, they thought fueling potential wide mass hysteria within the UK and panic about Islamic terrorists was more important instead of actually doing proper research and reporting the truth and educating people. But I guess they feel the truth is just so boring, so there's no point in writing about it. And honestly, if this is how majority of papers feel, I'm glad I barely read most of them anyways. So fast forward to the present day, their unhealthy obsession with Raheem Stirring is just jarring to see really. He, do he, he doesn't deserve this, come on. There's a lot of celebrities that get harassed by newspapers on just like, I think majority of people have more important things to care about than this. Why not type about like, why not, Why? where's like, where's the energy in like talking about like scientific research into new medicines? You could talk about what's happening in China with the, um, the, uh, the, 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 the treatment of, the poor treatment of Muslims. No, no, don't want to write about, okay. That's, 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 that's fine. You know, if you don't want to write about that, that's, that's okay. You know what I'm saying? But do, do you see what I mean? Like there is bet. it's not like there hasn't been better things to write about, but it's just obvious that the papers focusing on money, I getting attention, even if it means that they do outrageous headlines, they know people will react to it, but that still gets them the attention. They still get people clicking on the headline, looking at and looking at it and being outraged. Yeah, they're getting money for it. It's just, it's it's really, really sad. And I, I just, I don't like it. I just, I just don't, but yeah. Overall, this video, the aim was hopefully to, to open the eyes of more people and realize some of the bad things that this company, I don't know if you call it a company or newspaper have done. And personally, from my point, I wish people wouldn't just wouldn't buy it. Personally, just, it, it doesn't deserve to be bought. And honestly, if you're still unsure or you're just like this, why would I listen to this Negro chat about a newspaper? Well, that's okay. I mean, if you don't believe what I'm saying, that's calm. That's all right. All I'm gonna say is go on Twitter, type in hashtag don't buy the sun, go on the website, you'll get some more information. In fact, two, three weeks ago, yeah, the guy that um, I don't like, Edward Wood, uh, he's like the United person who's in charge of like Manchester United's transfers and obviously his recruitment has been absolutely appalling at times. Well, most most for quite a while for the last 13 years. But yeah, United fans have got very, very more and more frustrated as the years go by, as more and more seem to realise that actually it's not just, it's not really just the manager and the players, but it's mainly the board and the owners that are the problem. So some of them decided to throw flares at his house. And um, of course, outrage, because you know, it's one step too far. But um, apparently, the son got a tip off. And apparently, instead, instead, instead of notifying the police first, what do they do? Oh, you guessed it. Got a nice HD picture and we're able to be the first to make an article about it, you know? Classic newspaper. You know, if you want to continue reading this newspaper, that's calm, you do that. Personally for me, don't buy it. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you've been educated and entertained and I shall see you very, very soon. Ciao.